I guess photography has never been more popular. More men and women are taking pictures, and I guess that's what this show is about, the men and women who take the pictures, right? Well, it is, yes, George, it's more than that. You know, you're an amateur, which we kid about. Mm. I'm a professional because I really don't have the time to be an amateur. But in any case, this show is going to be about the men and women who take very good pictures, both amateur and professional. It's going to try to bring to, to the audience how these men think and how they see that one little thing that separates them from the also-rans in this business of photography. If you had your druthers, if you could, would you rather spend the next year going around this country photographing the real United States, or would you rather spend it here in Hollywood photographing movies? No, I wouldn't know. I would probably rather uh, travel in the United States. Well, before you travel, let before me... Before you ask him why. Yes, before okay. you ask him why, let me say that uh, to our friends that uh, the name of this show is Talk About Pictures. I'm George Fenneman, and with me as uh, always and usual is... Uh, one of America's great photographers, really, and a, a pretty nice guy. He, he, most always, of the he time. always finds uh, something tough to say. No, yeah. but we have with us, as you know, <laughs> one of the world's great photographers. Yes, yes, you are. Our guest so, uh, is a man who um, didn't start photography till you were about 35, 31, maybe, and you've been taking pictures for a long time. Very, very long time. You I started with uh, with the Leica in like what 1925. Uh, no, I, no, I didn't start with the Leica. I started with much earlier cameras. As a collector, you're becoming a very important part of the, the, the world of photography now. I mean, uh, you, you not by to... design. What do you mean, not by design? Well, I never look, started out to be to be that way. I look, just uh, look right. at this photograph. That's Marilyn Monroe, right? Oh yeah. I interrupted you. What do you mean you just started out to collect? I I I love being affected. I love being alive. I have a I have a great fear of being dead. I have a great fear of being stone and unfeeling. And all my life I've surrounded myself with images and objects that make me feel. And then I figured that if it makes me feel, it's gonna make you feel too. Question, can you establish a relationship between your collection of photography and your musical background? There is a certain connection there in that with every song I ever wrote, I've tried to reach people. And that's what the collection is about. And even to the microcosm of each individual picture. I'm trying to reach people. I'm trying to show people images where they can cry or whether they can feel elated. Our guests are, uh, there are two tonight, uh, today, uh, right now. Um, one is a um, uh, freelance photographer, uh, Henry Diltz. And the other is a young man who has been the singing idol of millions of teenage girls, and I guess not to mention a few teenage and men. Too. And you <laughs> too. Uh, David Cassidy, it's nice to have both of you with us. Um, and I like your pictures, Henry. Uh, Thank and you. I've only so seen I... two. Another accident? <laughs> <clears throat> well, yeah, so it was an accident. Uh, little Amy Burden there eating her porridge. And her mom had washed her teddy bear and was up on the, on the line drawing. And uh, that expression was an accident. I, I shot maybe six or seven pictures. And suddenly she just made that face. Henry, are you a picture builder or a picture seer? More of a seer than a builder, I think. I, I don't uh, set things up. Yeah, yeah. He's You take pictures, me. David. What about you? Uh, not too much. I used to. For me, um, I suppose I'm just too much of a novice. But he is one who is... Um, he's truly a photographer because he's like a student of human nature. A picture that's received uh, a citation that, if you will permit me, I would like to read. Uh, I quote, the uh, Ewo picture fully accomplished the ultimate purpose of photography, which is to make the viewer relive the events recorded. The Ewo picture caught the event so effectively that one who looks at it can virtually feel and hear the breeze which whips the flag. Rosenthal's camera recorded the soul of a nation. That's pretty nice. Well, it's, it's more than flattering in, in relation to, to myself, but I, I was extremely uh, lucky in many aspects of the taking of this picture. Uh, first of all, and, and uh, through it all, it's a photograph of the men doing 
a, a thing that is notable. And this is really the guide, in, it seems to me, uh, in uh, all of news photography. It's not the photographer. Joe. It's, it's a picture of somebody doing something worth recording.